Every day in our med device market that we service, we're helping to improve lives and or save lives every two seconds. And that's very, very humbling and very motivating. Hi, I'm Brad Coven, publisher and editorial director of Metal Forming Magazine at the Precision Metal Forming Association. I have the pleasure today of being with Lars Brunk, president of Brunk Industries in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin, to talk about the success of Brunk Industries over the years and plans for uh, continuing that success in the future. Lars, I know that you're the uh, son of a tool and die maker. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what that's meant to, uh, to your personal success and, and growth over the years and the success of Brunk Industries? It's been my entire life. It's, it's all that I've ever known. And uh, it, it, it's meant the world uh, to me to have a mentor like my father and to be able to work with him uh, through all these years. The preparation uh, from the technical perspective and understanding that tool and die is our core of our business. Uh, continuing to grow that side of the business, investing in that part of the business. I believe that Minster is just like Brunk. We're both innovative companies. As we look at challenging programs, I know that Minster will be there to help us, as evident with our relationship that goes back to the 70s. And uh, Minster has helped us get us to where we are today and prepare us for, for the future challenges that we have going forward. Lars, you're the sole supplier of, of many, if not most, of the components that you make for your customers. Can you talk about how you've developed that relationship with your customers that allows that, that trust? Well, relationships are, are critical. Uh, it's everything. Uh, we uh, truly work as an extension of our customer's manufacturing floor. We take our name off of our building and we put their name on. We're truly uh, a company that uh, works to understand what their goals and objectives are and we align our goals and objectives with theirs. We've been able to develop a core of, of very, very strong technical partners that, uh, that have helped us in our journey also. And it's relationships, you, you can't do this by yourself. It's uh, relationships is everything. Large, you talk about transformation as being an important uh concept for, for Brunk Industries. How does transformation apply to the, the company uh, as you've grown in the last several years and then your future growth of the company as well? Challenges of today, our customers are constantly looking for uh, ways to uh, improve quality and, and reduce cost. And you need to engineer that out. And, and for us, we've been able to look at certain component parts that in this particular case are machined and uh, transform them into metal stamp component parts. The transformation of the business itself, it's meant that we, we need to, to see how we can be uh, best effective in vertically integrating our business to try to give uh, our customers more added value. Um, we call it hiring the bomb, um, making components uh, that then become sub-assemblies and or possibly assemblies. Lars, this is a second generation family owned stamping business. Uh, over your career, what has fueled your passion for manufacturing, fueled your passion for keeping this company moving in a forward direction? Uh, we have a phenomenal group of people working here. Um, our culture is one where we truly work as an extension of each other. But what really motivates me is uh, what we do day in and day out is improve people's lives daily through innovation and to get that message throughout our entire organization, that's what motivates them also. 